This is a comment on a question that we received through Mail Connect. Uh, and this related to a rare condition called a mesenteric paniculitis. This is inflammation of the omentum. This is the tissue that basically through which the blood supply to the intestine occurs or, or is provided. Um, and a somewhat mysterious organ. It's now recognized as an organ. Um, it is associated with um, or can be associated with other immune disorders. Celiac disease is an immune disorder which itself it tends to hang out with other autoimmune disorders like thyroid disease, type 1 diabetes. So it would not be unheard of to see two or more autoimmune disorders occur in the same individual. Now does celiac disease contribute to these other disorders? Well, mostly probably not. Um, it is, however, that inflammation in the intestine possibly could affect inflammation in the mesentery because they're so closely related. One important measure that I take is, has the celiac disease healed? Because if the celiac disease has healed, then it's very hard to blame it for other problems that happen, either in the abdomen or elsewhere in the body. Um, so usually the first approach that I take is check the celiac disease, make sure it's healed. Usually four to five years after being on a strict gluten-free diet, the inflammation in the intestine should have gone away. So it should not, if that's the case, then it should not be considered a contributor to other disorders. Another interesting association is the interest is association with neuropathies. So celiac disease can be associated with peripheral neuropathy. That's usually a type that affects the hands and feet. Um, it causes numbing, numbing, tingless, tingling, maybe a little bit of weakness. Um, but it is symmetric. It affects left and right usually pretty equally. Um, it's association with other neurologic disorders not as well studied. It can affect balance, can even affect memory or cognitive ability. And then there's a rare condition um, where there have been several cases reported of um, mononeuritis multiplex. Um, but those are rare, mostly autoimmune disorders. Again, it's not clear that celiac disease is actually causing those, though the peripheral neuropathy it can. Um, hopefully these comments are helpful, um, and of course, a discussion and direction by somebody's specialists in the, in the area of neurology um, and gastroenterology are key to care. Thank you.